what it is and what it ain't. I'll let y'all know what I think. First, you got to hit that post notification bell button. So, you'll be the loop every time I drop a new video today. I'm going to talk about some wrestlers and stuff that I bet when I used to work at my old job and stuff like that. But y'all get your popcorn, sit back, chill, relax, and uh, let me bring y'all this new hot content. Well, back in the days, you know what I mean, I used to uh, work with this dude, and he was an uh, ex-NLB player. He used to play for uh, Major League Baseball, and he had retired, and he had moved to Sarasota or whatever, and he had this job, and it was stationed down south, you know what I mean? So we used to, like, work from Northport all the way up to, like, Orlando, Daytona area and stuff like that. And we would have contracts because we used to, like, clean the people's pools. We used to mow the yards. We used to do basically anything outside, like planting flowers and stuff like that. And, you know, uh, this MLB player, he was a millionaire, and he had to retire early, and he had opened up his own business, and he used to like how I worked it, you know what I mean? Because I was like a real one. I used to just file for God before work, and you know what I mean? The MLB player used to hit my guy, and, you know, we used to drive out to the job sites and stuff, you know? And I ain't going to say his name because a lot of people – don't know he smoked weed and stuff like that because he a white dude you wouldn't even believe who it is you know what i mean but uh yeah man we used to go pull up to celebrities houses and stuff like that and i remember one time man we was off in pasco lando lakes like tampa area and we went to british bulldog house and you know he was real cool man this before he died he came outside, gave us some waters, tipped us real good, man. This man gave us $50 a piece. It was four of us. And, you know, I smoked a guy right in his front yard. You know what I mean? Nah. British Bulldog, he was a real one. And then, like, we went up the street a little bit, and guess who house we did? Anvil Nightheart. You know what I mean? We did his house. We did uh, uh, Gary Sheffield house before. Uh, we did a lot of celebrities, man. And not to mention Macho Man. You know what I mean? We went to his house, planted his flowers and stuff like that. And he had this cool car, man. It was a uh, Corvette. You know what I mean? Now, Macho Man, he used to tip real good, too. Gave us $100 a piece. And I seen him one day in a 600 or 500 bins. And, you know, it was all blacked out. All tinted out, bro. He was in the car with his lady. Probably it was his wife. She was all blonde. And, you know, he was riding, man. You know, he was riding through the rich areas. And uh, that was the good old times, man. We got to see uh, Tatanka. I think that was in Brooksville. You know, we went to his house, did some work. Like, we used to go everywhere, man. Kevin Sullivan spot. And this all through uh, this company, man, because... The dude kept switching the name of his business. Like, a couple years later, he switched the business name, and we just had contracts, and we used to just pull up, do the service, and we would leave. Everybody wasn't a celebrity, but for some reason, he had contracts with a lot of different celebrities. Like, you know what I mean? And we used to meet him, because we even met uh, the dude with the... Uh, with the, uh, what's his name, uh, Jimmy Hart. Yeah, we met Jimmy Hart, man, you know what I mean? He was real cool. Pretty much all the baseball players, all the uh, wrestlers, you know, uh, weightlifters and stuff like that, we would be doing their stuff. You know, we even met... Uh, the 
nasty boys one time, you know what I mean? It was just real back then, man. And, you know, they respected me. A lot of people didn't know what I was doing, but they can look at me. I got all these gold teeth, like, oh, he's a street cat like that. But I ain't gonna lie. I did smoke a gun, you know what I mean, with this one wrestler. And, you know, he was real cool. He stayed in Pasco. He had, uh, he had retired a long time ago, you know what I mean? He was from the WCW area. I can't really remember his name, but he was black. I can't remember buddy name, man, but he wasn't nothing like them other wrestlers, but that's enough on my old job, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Peace of mind.